You're back with a single malt review as we continue on our gin foray and the great gin revival of the last decade or so. It hasn't been confined to the Anglophonic world, it has of course reached Japan as well, home to many of the world's master distillers. Mm -hmm. And today we have one, it is Etsu Jim Gin, uh, appropriately named Japanese term for joy and pleasure. Mm -hmm. This is slightly stronger than the others we looked at, at a full 43% 43. ABV, yeah, and an abundance of um, Asian and particularly Japanese botanicals and spices we got well, into the mix here. The big one in here, and the one I'm going to be looking out for, is Yuzu, mm. um, which is a, well, to look at it, it's a pretty knobbly, um, knobbly, pithy little mm. um, primordial lemon, really, but it has the most incredible... Um, it's like it is. It is like lemon, just turned all the way up. Mm. Um, it's a really, really tangy, fragrant kind of lemon. Um, it's being used increasingly in beer, which mm. is where I see it. And it makes yeah, it's some tremendous beers. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's being used in IPAs to tremendous effect. It's being used in sours to mm. tremendous effect. It's being used in lagers to tremendous effect. It just seems to be. It's a really good wee yeah. additive. So, um, how it adheres to gin, I'm very mm. interested to find out. Now, this particular gin, we know the um, herbs are soaked in the spirit for some time. Uh, yes, so that this is a um, this is a you know a, a liquid infusion, not a vapor infusion. Hmm. Now the last one we tried was the Karun, and mm. that one was almost shockingly smooth yeah. um, and gentle. This one is. Mm. It's got a bit more prickle to it, and there's, yeah, something, there's, more going there's on. something in here which is not exactly <sighs> yuzu. What is that? I'm definitely getting yuzu, but there's... Um, there's like a oh, kaffir lime almost in here. There is, I think, possibly all sorts of uh, Japanese pepper. Um, yeah, there's a bit of, of, a bit of Sichuan kind of an element coming mm. through that, obviously Chinese, but... Um, yeah, Sichuan pepper is oddly, I think, a mustard yeah. botanically. Not even a pepper. Oh, it's definitely not a pepper. Mm. No, no, that, that's a Sichuan pepper yeah. has always been a lie. Don't mm -hmm. tell you otherwise. Mm. Yeah, there's a, this is very green. Um, yeah. It's very green and it's very herbaceous. Mm. A lot of, yeah, like crushed citrus leaf. I was expecting the fruit, but um, it's Whoa. more of a, it's more of, yeah, like a citrus citrus leaf. I just took a sip and it has blown up. There is big green citrus in the mouth. It's oh, wow. It's really gone places. Mm. Mm. Um You'd put this in the you know the, the premium gin mm. category alongside the Karun. Yeah, I don't think they could be more different. Mm. The Karun was very very smooth, very very gentle. This one is not mucking around. It is bombastic. This it's just one full flavor immediately. The uh, the spirit is strong. The botanicals and the fruits are just as strong. It is punchy. It is weighty. It's got that, this one this one lights you right up. Yeah. Um, boy, uh, mm. I'm not quite sure where that difference mm. comes from, whether it's a difference in the spirit or whether it's a difference in the, the botanicals. I think it's probably the botanicals in this case. Mm. There's also a difference in process with the steeping of the botanicals mm. versus uh, vapor infusion. Wow, that's sharp. Mm. That is a one of the tangiest gems I've tried in my it lifetime. Is I think. Zesty as heck. So mm. you're going on. We'll just see if an ice cube yeah. takes the edge off. Not, oh. not a, it's not a bad oh, edge, no. it's a good edge. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good edgy. Um, Oh. Yeah, green. Green, like, mm. um, planty, herbaceous is what this one's doing. That is really quite striking. Mmm. Oh, there is a hint of possibly even mint on that. Yeah, a little bit of mint. Spearmint, mm. um, not peppermint. Mm. Um, Plenty of pepper, but only pepper yeah. in its own right. Alright, no, that, that's mm. still pretty aggressive. Yeah. Let's try it all the way. Put a tonic in there. No, that said, this would make, if you wanted to really stimulate the senses, a martini out of this one, like, do, mm. don't dare put an olive in it, you <laughs> just not want, no. do not put savoury in here, but with just a, like a, a twist or something, um, that would be a, that would be a martini, wake you right the hell up, yeah. um, immediately, that would be quite something. Mm. A little bit of cloud on there, from the, from the tonic. Well, now that's a zesty tonic water. Yeah. Um, this is something. This is really something. In terms of um, force of character, mm -hmm. this this takes it by a long shot. Yeah. Um, Karun was that was a, an act of subtlety. This is just loud. Mm. This this gin is just here. It's putting its stuff down on the table. Uh, it's here to party. I'd say they're as good as each other. They're both making the same yeah. a, um, 
equally strong statement, just in entirely different ways. Um, no, I would I would agree. Um, like this one, I um, I don't know the the, the Karun calms me down, but um, mm -hmm. this one gets me. I feel radical drinking <laughs> this one. This is this is really it's a happening gin. Mm -hmm. um, it's really happening. I don't even know which one to recommend. If yeah. you want, to, if you want your tongue to just be absolutely razzled, then this is the this is the go. Um, if you want to taste just a masterpiece in distilling, then the Karun probably mm -hmm. takes it. But man, the sort of the artistic application of botanicals, you'd have to say this one really takes it. That's mm. four. Very pleased with both of these. Um, I have to eat my words on premium gin. Maybe it's worth <laughs> it after all, because um, this is um, these are both tremendously good. Mmm. Wow, okay, um, this one, no one's, no one's getting the last of this one, I'm having this all to myself. Yes. All right, tremendous. All right, well, this is the um, penultimate you want, mate, from us, and we'll be right back with the last one, the weird one, the quirky yeah. one. Those of you who know your gins know what's coming, it's the one we haven't touched on yet. So, wish us luck, we will be right back.